Welcome to a TLDR Wrath Guide for the Ruby Sanctum. For anyone still playing, it didn't quit after getting Shadowmorn. Ruby Sanctum has three mini bosses and the main boss, Halion. But in case you needed a guide for the mini bosses, for Balthorus, don't stand in the Bladestorm, move out with Enervating Brand so you don't make him a Giga Chad, and when he spawns his clones with a raid wide knockback and a stun, pick them up but keep focusing the main one. For Zaratherian, tank swap before you lose all your armor, tremor totem his raid wide fear, and interrupt the adds while they pulse AoE damage. And for Saviana, face her frontal breath away, trank shot the enraged so she doesn't deal raid wide damage, and when she flies up, move out of the raid if you get conflagration. Now for the real boss, Halion, who has three health-based phases. In every phase, he is a dragon, so stand to the side so you don't get hit by the tail or the frontal. And tanks, all you gotta do is survive the frontal breath and a bit of movement. During phase one, he gives someone mark of combustion, which makes you explode and drop a pool when it's dispelled or decursed. The longer you have it, the bigger the explosion in the pool, so move out ASAP and call for a dispel, or you'll cover the raid with shit and you'll probably all fucking die. On heroic, the pools give a stacking dot, so don't touch them unless you need to pad your healing. He also casts Meteor Strike, which looks like hellfire on the ground, dealing big damage to anyone hit and spawning an X of fire. On Heroic, this also spawns a bunch of adds, so pick them up and nuke them down. Stack the raid on one side of the boss, then when it appears, move through the boss to the other side, but watch out for the fire. At 75%, the boss phases into the Shadow Realm, so click the portal to follow him, but have a tank and healer stay behind for phase three. He now casts Mark of Consumption, which is the same as phase one, so move out and dispel ASAP, but the pool now sucks you in, so don't touch it. On Heroic, the pool also slows you, so throw a freedom on whoever has it to get them back quicker. Two orbs rotate around the edge of the room, occasionally firing a laser between them that'll fuck you up. When the the laser starts, rotate the boss and everyone along with it, but don't go too fast or too slow, or you might be hit by the laser, the tail, or the frontal, and every caster will throw a bitch fit until this phase ends. On Heroic, there are now four orbs and two lasers to split the room into four, so there's even less space to move, and there's ticking damage in the Shadow Realm to keep healers pressing their buttons. At 50%, the boss splits into both realms, so split the raid with ranged in the main realm, melee in the Shadow Realm, and healers and tanks split evenly. Each realm is the same as the previous phases, but he now has a buff called Corporeality. This stacks based on the damage in each realm, which reduces his damage taken and increases increases his damage done, so split the raid as evenly as you can to keep it at 50% in both realms. But if you put everyone in one realm, he eventually takes no damage and heals while you sit around and dick swing. On Heroic, assign more damage in the main realm for the adds, but if you have some AoE blasters, you should be fine. The other main Heroic change is the pools are visible in every realm, and they never disappear, so drop them as close to each other as you can to save room space. Then kill the boss before you run out of space and it's GG. And that's it for Halion, the Ruby Sanctum, and Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Congrats on your kills. Whether you're sticking around for Kata, diving back onto the Forbidden servers, or moving on to Season of Discovery, you don't have to play the game to laugh at my shitty jokes. Like and subscribe if you found these useful. I'll catch you in the next one.